Oh my gosh. Don't pitch the fingers. Perfectly center. Is it though? Close enough. Hey, it's Andrew Huang. And today we're kind of starting a new chapter in Andrew's Mad Scientist Music Studio. Uh, thanks to Eventide. If you're not familiar with Eventide, they make really great effects. And uh, by the way, they're not sponsoring this video. They're not paying me. They didn't ask me to make this video, but they did send me an H9000. So, I mean, of course I'm gonna make this video. Also, I just love everyone that I've met from the Eventide team. Shout out to Patrick. Patrick and Nalia who are just wonderful and supportive humans. So what is the H9000? Well, it's just a wild effects unit that probably does about 10 million things. I feel like even Tide are definitely known for their spatial effects, like really lush reverbs and delays, but uh, it really does everything. You've got guitar distortion in here, you know, weirder effects like phaser and flanger, plenty of just standard kind of utilitarian things like wideners, chorus, filters, compression. And I guess one big fact about it is that it retails for for just under $7,000. So, you know, is it worth that? Who is it for? How does it sound? Obviously, these are the big questions and uh, we're gonna answer them today. Let's just start with this basic drum loop. It's going through the 9,000 and I'm just gonna start turning the mix from dry to wet. So like that's just a preset that I picked at random. Completely transform the source material into something else. What do we even have going on there? Oh yeah, just pages and pages of diffusion and delays. I wanna explain more about what's going on in here, but uh, first let's listen to some more examples on that same drum loop because I just wanna give you a taste of all the possibilities in here. Just finished my ambient drone album. And just as a reminder, this is where we started from. So just a huge amount of sonic possibilities in here. So let me walk you through the UI and it's actually pretty easy. So there's four different levels, uh, sessions, effects chains, algorithms, and parameters. Sessions are like saving an entire configuration of what's going on in the unit. And here I've got a session set up that's just got the routing to my DAW. If we go down a level to effects chains, here is where you can see all of the effects going on at once. You can have up to four chains, each with their own input and output. So you can be processing multiple things at once. There are a lot of presets for effects chains that you can select here and then as well, you can do an overall dry wet mix for a whole chain. You can mute or a long tap to bypass a chain and you can adjust the gain of individual chains. So now let's go one level down. 
This is the algorithm's view, and an algorithm is sort of like their name for an effect. And you can have four different algorithms per chain. But that doesn't mean you can only have four effects per chain, because actually a lot of the algorithms contain multiple effects. So an algorithm is more like an even-tied preset, a set of effects that they've dialed in for a certain kind of character. But uh, that doesn't mean that you have no control over it either, because of course we can jump one more level down to parameters where you can see all of the possible things that you can tweak. So for example, right here, we've got this one crystal orbit algorithm that actually contains a few different effects. We've got crystallizers, ring delay, and reverb, and then what are these expert parameters? Oh, more delay settings. And so here you can navigate through all the parameters of all the algorithms in that chain. And here's something I'm really happy about. They actually implemented this after I asked them about it. It's a per page randomization. So you can just hit this random button and it'll change all the parameters that you're currently looking at to a random value. Let's have a listen to some of this stuff. I'm gonna run some vocals through it. Uh, this is the acapella from my song, Lake Louise. We'll check out this preset. I'll randomize some stuff and maybe listen to some other stuff and how it sounds on vocals. Does it make a difference to you? If I'm on my knees, but I lay in the dust. I pray my soul to keep. I always feel your breath. Carried on the breeze. Take me to Lake Louise. So that's just randomizing one page and you can see how differently the uh, reverb responds based on just a few settings changing. And uh, of course there's all the modulation that happens as the values find their new places. But hey, maybe you could use that, you know, just hit random a bunch while you're recording for some interesting unexpected effects. Also I should mention with the algorithms in here, the little individual effects units, there are 1600 of them. So. It's a lot of effects. You could probably explore this thing for a lifetime and never run out of inspiration. Take me to Lake Louis. Another cool thing is you can hook up multiple controllers to the 9000 if you want to have some real-time performable control over a lot of its features. For example, if I've got an expression pedal hooked up here, I can choose any parameter that I want to assign it to, hit map, and there we go. We've got a pedal controlling the feedback of the delay. So I feel like we've answered the question of how it sounds, but who is it for and is it worth seven grand? Um, you know, I was really skeptical when I was first in touch with Eventide about receiving one of these because I thought, how can any effects unit, as good as it is, be worth $7,000? And here's the thing. it's. Obviously a luxury item. It's not something you're gonna get if you're not making money in your music career. But I have come to think of it as like a few different things. You can think of it as like buying a super powerful computer just to handle effects in your production workflow. There's four quad core ARM processors in here. It's extremely powerful. You saw how fast I could load these huge effects chains. Like I could just jump from preset to preset and it probably took a third of a second to go from one to another. So it would handle a lot of DSP that your computer wouldn't have to as well as providing just this lifetime supply, this wealth of inspiration and sonic exploration. Or another way that I started 
thinking about it is with the amount of effects that this provides, it's kind of like buying a hundred plugins or a hundred guitar pedals. And I think with that in mind, the value proposition starts to make more sense. You're getting those 1600 algorithms that you can use four per chain and four chains at a time. Uh, and with all that, you only have to learn one interface. So I think they can justify the price tag. Obviously it's not for everybody, but if you like the stuff that you heard today, so many of the pieces that are in here are available in the other Eventide products on offer. You know, they've got different guitar pedals like the H9, the Space, uh, the Black Hole just came out. And of course they've got tons of plugins. And uh, speaking of plugins, I just remembered, I didn't even mention there is a plugin called Emote that goes with the H9000. So that uh, lets you connect this with your computer and control it from your computer if you like that workflow. But yeah, this box is really magic, wonderful to work with. I feel like I can't even fathom all the things that I might end up doing with it. Uh, definitely want to hook it up to the modular and just do tons of processing, creating cool atmospheres. It's just a mind boggling amount of effects. 1600. 1600. <laughs>so I think that's it for me today. Thanks so much for watching and huge thanks to Eventide, of course. I think I've got a companion for life in the H9000. And uh, leave a comment. What do you think about 7G's worth of effects? All right, I'll see you next time.